folks, the City Planning Outlook updated on Tuesday evening the 20th of October. Now this time last week we were gearing things up for inversion conditions and that delivered exceptionally well with so many of you seeing fog bows, glories, spectres on the higher Scottish mountains through last weekend. If you've not seen our latest MWIS blog yet, have a look at that. There's plenty of your pictures that you've been sending in. I'm afraid to say the outlook for this upcoming weekend is a much different face of autumn as deep areas of low pressure come in from the Atlantic upland gales, storm force winds at times and some heavy rainfall to go with it. We start things off in the middle of this week with a very complicated picture of several centres of low pressure all revolving around each other as we go through Wednesday. Areas of rain persistent for a few hours in places, a tendency just to improve a bit from the west across England and Wales as fronts just push eastwards with time. Temperatures will fall from the north across Scotland as the wind flow eventually turns to the north and strengthens, so freezing levels will drop with some snow on the highest tops, at least in the far north of the highlands, later on in the day. By the time we get to Thursday, we drag one area of low pressure away to the east, but still a trailing front will leave a legacy of rain and low cloud, at least for a time, across northern England and some showers coming into Wales too, perhaps frequently over a few hours. A tendency to improve, but it may just take a while to get rid of the remnants of rain and drizzle. For much of the highlands, a brighter day, some sunshine around, just one or two scattered showers, a chilly feel to things, freezing levels between around 900 and 1100 metres low towards the far north. A lull in the wind, but the next Atlantic system is then starting to move in as southwesterly strengthen by Thursday night. Now, during Friday, we're due to see a frontal system pass eastwards. Not a particularly active one, but nevertheless, some rain and some showers associated with that could give some pulses of rain over an hour or so in places. Some brighter skies following from the west, more frequent rain and showers coming into the western side of Scotland, and with lowering freezing levels, those falling as some snow above, say, 900 to 1,000 metres as we go through the day. It's a blustery one up to gale force, at least in the morning speeds tending to drop a little bit as we go through the daytime but certainly a chilly feel across most of the hills and mountains. A stormy day though is looking likely as we go into Saturday south to south westerlies 50, 60, maybe even 70 miles per hour across many of the higher mountains, some stronger gusts than that in places. So Looks a poor day overall in that respect. So some rain coming on from the west as well. That setting in soonest across western mountains. Uncertainty just how quickly that front arrives. But the wind looks to be the most confident element in the forecast in that it's a wild looking day across the mountains as the deep area of low pressure over the Atlantic just starts to move in. It stays generally windy into Sunday, maybe still up to gale force at times. The worst of the strongest winds perhaps just passing eastwards by this stage, a front going eastwards as well, but further fronts and troughs coming in off the Atlantic, so a rather unsettled day. Some showers, a chillier day as well, temperatures and freezing levels coming down, so some snow on the very highest tops again in Scotland and perhaps the highest tops in Wales as well. Here's the big picture then. You can see things coming in off the Atlantic. This is the weekend sequence. There's one weather system going eastward Saturday night into Sunday. Here's the more showery air mass that follows on a chilly westerly flow through Sunday daytime. Low pressure is very much toward the north. And it's that Atlantic regime of west or southwest that is likely to continue onwards into next week. Some further little centres of low pressure and fronts coming through. Some heavy rain at times. Again, freezing levels, temperatures will be up and down as these features do just come through. We're watching the next system as well as we go towards, say, Tuesday of next week. There's the threat of another deep area of low pressure steaming in from the Atlantic for another bout of stormy conditions and some heavy rainfall. So all in all, the outlook, as far as we can sensibly see at the moment into early next week, is very unsettled, stormy at times, some frequent and heavy falls of rain, sometimes some snow on the highest tops, but nothing anywhere near as grand and as settled as what we had last weekend I'm afraid. As we head towards the closing stages of the month it looks a very similar sort of pattern. This chart is the average pressure, the anomaly over a seven day period forecast by one of the longer range models. Suggests that the jet stream is very much steaming across the Atlantic, lower than average pressures towards Iceland and the south of Greenland, higher than average pressures just to the southwest of us around the Azores. It may just be that the focus of weather systems is more on Scotland, so if you're trying to get some days on the hills in England and Wales, you maybe have the better of 
the opportunities nearer to higher pressure. But overall, it looks as though a turbulent pattern coming in from the Atlantic is the one that dominates. High pressure starting to build around Scandinavia and northern Russia just needs watching if things start to slow down. And that has some influence further down the line. Uh, we'll see how that one develops, of course, and keep you right up to date. Check your details for your next three days ahead, as always, every single day on our website. And you can stay up to date with us on our social media channels as well. Thanks for watching this video today. Bye for now.